Can you all hear music? I am not a superstitious guy. Like, I'm not even a little stitious. I don't believe in ghosts. I believe in science. But there is classical music playing. From that direction. I'm just fucking leaving, hey. Like... <laughs> This tunnel was built in 1863, making it one of the oldest tunnels in New South Wales and therefore Australia. The rail line was rerouted in 1919 and in the 1930s it became a farming place for mushrooms, which is why the locals call it the Mushroom Tunnel. But there's a bunch of ghost stories as well. Let's walk through it together, shall we? Jeez, it was a bit unsettling there in the middle, wasn't it? Let's go back again. I'll give you the full length, like, not sped up version on my channel as well. Hit subscribe and go and watch that, but let's go back again. Echo! Echo! That's cool. Fucking trash, in the middle of it. How did that, how did a coffee cup get there? Anyway. So quick facts, built in 1863 and decommissioned in 1919 when the railway was rerouted uh, around the mountain instead of through it. A uh, Couple of people have died supposedly in there. I'm a local, could be an urban myth, I could be talking shit. But 
a railway worker is seen, like if you believe in ghosts, it's seen that there's a railway worker with a lantern. He's a guy with a lantern that goes through there every now and then. Uh, and there's a little girl who, from history's perspective, like there was definitely a little girl that died, not necessarily in the tunnel, but near it. I can't remember details, as I said, could be an urban legend. I don't think the little girl is. I think the rail work, railway worker is a little urban legend. But the little girl, I'm fairly certain, is based on a true story. And yeah, very ghostly sort of area. You saw it yourself as we walked through. Kind of creepy in the middle there. In the 1930s, it was re-sort of co-opted or whatever you want to call it. Uh, given new life as a mushroom tunnel, as a place we could farm mushrooms. That's no longer the case. It's sort of just a hangout spot for degenerates in the area now. But it is heritage listed. It's really hard to get into if you don't have a key into this spot. Like, you'd have to, you couldn't do what I was doing. If you were a lazy teenager trying to smoke weed, like I was 15, 20 years ago, you wouldn't be able to get here anymore because you've got to climb over a certain spots and yeah, it's a thing. But check a ghost tour out. Google Picton Ghost Tours. They come here for it and they'd be able to tell you more about the ghost stuff than me. Super old tunnel. You all hear that? I am not a superstitious guy. Like, I'm not even a little stitious. I don't believe in ghosts. I believe in science. But there is classical music playing. From that direction. I'm just fucking leaving, hey. Like... <laughs>